guys. Welcome to Bar Z. My name is Stan. And uh, <clears throat> I got asked an interesting question uh, the other day. Uh, they said, how, how would I check for squareness? You know, I, I've, got a, I've got a square block and I've got maybe a cylinder square. And those are good for doing visuals. But how would I comparatively actually measure something and get a number? I mean, holding something up against... Uh, Hold a block you think is square up against this, a block. I mean, you shine a flashlight behind it and you're getting a visual. But now we want to see an actual number and see how far out of square it is. So uh, all you need, and you, this is just something that you slap together. You don't have to drill or mill or do any work. You just have to put it together. You need a, a steel block that's flat on the bottom and one good surface. It doesn't even have to be square. It just needs to have one nice flat surface. It could be a milled surface or whatever. And it doesn't have to be square in any direction. As long as you use it, something to slide around the table nicely. You need a small Noga with a fine adjust. This one's the uh, FAT version, which is fine adjust top. They got a fat and a fab. Fine adjust bottom and fine adjust top, but that's a top adjust. Uh, you need an indicator. Uh, tenths would be better if you're trying to measure precisely. And then you need a, an old dead end mill. This is an end mill shank that's uh, been miked. Uh, I, mic, I mic them 90 degrees apart at both ends, so I, I know it's very round and it's very straight. So mic this way, mic this way. You come over here, mic this way, mic this way. So uh, rotate your mics 90 degrees. Make sure it's it's very round um, and very straight. If it's not, this this will throw your measurements off. But let me get all this put together. Uh, these four things. Let me get these things put together, and uh, we're just gonna check a set of one, two, three blocks, and uh, you know check them for square. And uh, we're gonna use the angle block here to calibrate, and then we're gonna move on to the to the square blocks and check them comparatively. All right. So let me get this put together. And I'll show you the setup and how to do it. This is totally low budget, but everyone's got this stuff in their shop. So you don't need a fancy squareness comparator. You don't need a square master. You, do, you can even do it comparatively without an angle block. But uh, let's put this together and we'll go from there. Okay, and I got this thing all set up. And uh, it, like I say, it's just a steel block with a Noga mag down to it back here. It needs to be big enough where the arm can go back and back over to here. And we're going to be measuring off of this face right here. But we don't want to be butting up against a, uh, a uh, flat surface here. This is where your round rod comes in. You drop your rod right here, our granite block, and bring it into there just till our little rod uh, makes contact there. Okay, so I'm going to bring you out here so you can see that. And you know, I hope, I'm hoping you can see we're on zero. Okay, so I'm going to move this away and I'm going to bring back my test piece. And bring it in. Right there we're a tenth high. So for all intents and purposes, if I flip it around this way, I should be a tenth low. which we are, a tenth low. So that tells me that this block is one tenth out of square. Now let's pretend we didn't even have this. We don't, we don't even have a square block. But we want to check for squareness. Let's grab this other one, two, three. This is good that we kind of started over with this block, or this unknown block. All right, we're going to go get right on zero there. Then we're going to rotate the block 180 degrees, check the other side. So that's uh, uh, two tenths low. So we're going to split the difference and make it one tenth low. And then for all intents and purposes, when I come back here, it's going to be one tenth high. So we've split the difference between the two there's your one-tenth high. So, uh, this block is out of square. Uh, it's going to be called plus or minus one-tenth. 
uh, because we've got a negative error and we've got a positive error and they're opposing. Uh, we put zero right in the center, we split the difference above and below zero, so this block is classified as plus or minus one-tenth out of square over uh, this three inch because we're measuring, uh, this is a one, two, three block, we're measuring three inches high. So uh, that's how this would be classified. And you can use this in any direction, uh, we were doing it in the hard direction here, but even if you don't have an angle block to calibrate your, your comparator, uh, you, can still do, you can still do the 180 flips and uh, establish uh, your zero point, split the difference, and then you know how far your block is and what the tolerance is on your block. This is the next level past uh, doing a visual on either a cylinder square or on the block or on an angle square or something like that. But uh, that's a good way to check uh, comparatively uh, how far a block is out of square with just what you got laying around the shop. There's, this is nothing special here. All right, guys, I uh, hope this helps, and I hope the person that asked me the question, I hope this helps you. Um, Merry Christmas. It's uh, Christmas Eve, and I uh, just thought I'd come out and shoot this, real, this uh, little quickie. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.